Link 2012. Hey guys, welcome back to From Ashes Reborn with yours truly. Uh, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who's watching this right now. Y you know that you're really awesome, right? And I'm being completely serious about that. You're amazing. You should be proud of yourself. Go give yourself a pat on the bat. You know, you've done some really great things in life, and you're going to continue to do amazing things. Okay, now, on to the video. Today's goal... Oh, I didn't even throw out the rest of my stuff. <laughs> I was trying to grind a few mobs here. It's kind of difficult, unfortunately. Um... Mostly due to the fact that I just can't do, sorry, they don't spawn often enough for me to get a ton of XP from them. Hopefully once we get home today, I can actually spend some XP on upgrading my gear. Uh, I found out recently that armor actually does cap. So we can have full diamond armor as well as have something like the Wave Mid or Mach 1. Today we're going to be checking out the island on the whole other end of the map. Now this is actually very far away. So I'm actually going to cut here, and I'm going to meet you guys at the island, all right? And... Vloop! Plop! Looks like we've arrived, and it is time to hopefully not get completely wrecked. <laughs> I know last time we had some skeleton spawners giving us issues. I don't have any knockback resistance this time around, so that's going to be tricky for us. But hopefully we can get by without too many issues. All right, get out of here. This gas spawner is going to be very painful to deal with. Holy smokes, the volume's pretty loud, too. Come on, did I get it? I got it. Sweet. Woo! Man, that was fun. Also got a head. I gotta turn down my personal volume. Okay, there we go. Woo! That was fun. What an entry to the island. Got some more diamonds over here. Interestingly, I'm not seeing any skeleton spawners back here. It might have been safer to just come in from behind. Let's keep that in mind for future areas. Oh, I thought that was a, another ghast. It was just the big building right there. I say we're not experiencing too many skeletons right as we find some more skeletons that we have to deal with. Oh boy, and that is a special type of skeleton. Alright, back off here for a second as we take down some of our nemesises. What do we have? We got a zombie over here. Yup. Uh, Did I see a spawner down here? On the 6P. Okay. I found out recently that XP is not just spelled like XP. It's spelled with an EXP. Really, really random fact of the day. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's some damage. Come on. There we go. Good. Um, but yeah, the reason, <laughs> I always thought it was just XP, but it stands for experience, which is why you put an E there, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Okay, so there's another spawner right over here, because we just saw this zombie spa spawn. It is not nice having the slower attack speed, but the knockback is helping a ton here. Knockback on our weapon. Of course, having more health is also pretty nice. Ooh, boy. Nuts were withered again. It is tough advancing this this territory. Let's, uh, let's chill here for a second. Oh, sweet. Look at all this loot. Did we get... Oh, good. We did grab the diamonds from earlier. Calling all stations. Can anybody tell me... Uh, sorry. Can anybody tell me... Tell me exactly where I am. I've lost all sense of direction watching the darkness closing around me. Feeling the cold through my body. That's why I'm calling all stations. And hope that someone hears me. A single lonely voice. I feel the sensation disappearing. There's a tingling in my arms. There's a numbness in my hands. All the broken promises. All my good intentions. Don't add up to very much. And I realize whatever happened. Whatever happened. I remember all the moments that I've wasted in my life, all the things I was going to do, uh, why it is now, and when it's too late. Then I finally realized what's important to me, to think everything that's dear to me and always is in my heart could so easily be taken, 
and it's tearing me apart, going over and over in my mind. I relieve, I relieve it one second a time. Man. What's interesting is that in the zombie apocalypse, it really destroys people. Like, uh, emotionally. It, it, it sort of... I don't know how to explain it. There's just a whole... So much hopelessness in these apocalypses. It's a very contrary to the stories you typically hear about people, you know, facing adversity and saying, Oh, I can make it through it. We can do it in the end. Versus this where it's just so sad and, and people just succumbing to death. It's kind of eerie. I wonder what's more realistic. Oh, there we go. Got a, a skull. Not that we really need it, but... Here. All right, I'm backing off a second. We're slowly grading ground on this territory. I know there's probably more on the inside. The nice thing is that we'll be closed in with these mobs. We won't have to fight a ton of them out in the open. What's this guy have on him? Just on breaking? Okay. On breaking is not that great. I don't really want... Oh, come on. I was going to charge in, but... Looks like the skeletons as well as everything else is going to keep me from doing that. Yeah, skeletons are a big... Oh, big problem. You really can't get around. Especially due to the fact that they strafe you now. They just corner you in here and there's nothing you can do about it. Like this. You see this guy? He's just coming out of nowhere. I can't do anything to stop him. I'm feeling the hopelessness now. Like I can't get anywhere on this island. <laughs> oh boy. where Where's that other skeleton? There was another skeleton over here somewhere. This is why I wish I had Depth Strider. Okay. Okay, get out of here. This is why I wanted to bring more projectile protection with me. I think a decent amount of my gear has it on it. Okay. Please tell me I can advance now. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't even care at this point. We're going in. I'm okay. I do care. Never mind. I do care. I do care. I do care. I want to live. <laughs> I'd rather live. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a pin cushion. This island has way too many skeletons. Everything else I can deal with. No, come on. I looked at an Enderman. And I can't kill this guy easily either because I've got fire aspect on me. Get out of here. And all these zombies are taking multiple hits. Alright, now I got an Enderman to deal with. Got a little spider right here. I try to rush in. You see, the problem with rushing in is that these skeletons will just shoot you to death and you can't really make any progress. My question is how far away do these spawners spawn? Because we be, might be able to get close and then rush in after we take them out with a bow. We probably should put down a backpack here too. Sometime soon. Get out of here. I'm just going to hit you once. Destroy that. Alright. Oh boy. There's... Oh, boy. I can't even. Uh, okay, so these guys are ghasts. Ghast, uh, gas skeletons, I guess. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, what if we go around another direction? Can we do that? Will we be able to make it? I'm really curious about that thing up there. Man, they just keep on coming, don't they? There's just nothing I can do about this, guys. I wanted to explore this island. I can't even get on it. You see this? Are you seeing this? This guy, this guy's faster in water than me. I'm so mad at this. Who developed this? You're insane. You're insane for giving them depth strider or whatever you put on those skeletons. The zombies are fine. The zombies aren't giving me any issues. Spiders, no problemo. These skeletons, though. If I get on this island, we gotta just light it up light up as much as possible. 
expand these torches around here. Get the whole island lit up. Alright, where are you at? Get out of here. Thankfully, they can only have flame one on a bow. You can't add more flame to it. Um, one is the max level. Alright, so this little section, there was nothing on this island is the sad part about this. We got, we didn't even get rewarded. Hopefully like this, there will be something here. Alright, let me, shoo, get out of here. Get away. Fish, that's my reward for getting this chest. Worthless, completely worthless. <laughs> what an adventure. Camp on the rocks. Yeah, camp on the rocks, all right. We're gonna get some gas to fight, that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with this. I am not okay with that. Okay, why are there so many ghasts? Spawn right on that is crazy. Where was that, where was that skeleton I was getting hit from earlier on? Right here. You deserve to die, suffer, have pain laid upon you, Mr. Skeleton. You have brought nothing to me but misery. I shall return the favor. Interesting thing about lots of these islands is that they don't have anything on them. And then the ones that do have stuff on them, there's literally nothing guarding them. Like that boat earlier. That boat had nothing guarding it. And yet that boat is the one that has actual loot. Alright, let's go light this island up at least a little bit, you know. Alright, so now that gas is taken care of. Oh, nuts. Got creepers galore. Part of me just wants to pearl up there. Take it down. Got him. Bye. Yeah, the strafing mechanics are really interesting. I need to get used to that. If I can figure that out, I can conquer anything. All right, let's go. Let's light up. I know there's at least one spawner up here for the ghasts. Oh, there's a lot. There's three spawners, at least, right here. Woo! Wow! These guys are really having a party up here. Nope! Oh, boy! I'm out of here! I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Okay, we're good. We're safe. Woo! I'm trying to hit him with his own fireball here. Get the right angle on it. Come on. Got him, sweet. We still got at least one more ghast. Look at the durability on my bow, by the way. All these mobs are causing me to use it like crazy. Oh, my helmet's pretty much dead now. I don't have any backups. Why would you ever bring a backup helmet? <laughs> Man, this is tense. This is definitely the tensest I've been so far, trying to explore anything on this map. Oh, there's a chest. Better have been worth it. No, okay. I was worried those guys were silverfish. I think they are, actually. Uh, the thing is that when you mine silverfish blocks, it's fine. Oh, look at that, efficiency five. That makes me happy. That, this might've been worth it in the end. Uh, also, we get a Lancer, uh, which is sharpness two, smite three. So it's a decent weapon. You might want to combine that with another bow. Okay. Got to get up here now. If we just got a helmet here, that would be handy. I don't even have the materials to make one. Looks like that's like the final section of this area that we can explore. If we can get up here, I think that we will be fine. Problem is that probably spawners at the very tippy top of this. Yeah. Get this gas right here. Get 
they are spawning faster than you can kill them, which is actually kind of scary. Okay, so far so good. We survived that. Uh, I want to pearl up and just finish it. All right, that's one of the spawners down. Uh, there we go. That's the other one. Oh, yeah. This, how many are there? Four? Is there another one? Nope. Okay. Cool. That should be it. Shouldn't be anything else up here. Let's grab the chest and get out. That's good. Holy smokes. That's good. Uh, we might use this, actually. Efficiency 5. Sharpness 5. Oh, this doesn't have sharpness 5. Never mind. That's weird. It's a weird blade. I have to think about the uses for that. Yeah, because this guy, it's got fire aspect 5, efficiency 5, silk touch 5. So it's really not useful for all that much. Oh, sweet. Radioactive goom lock 2. Minus 5 max health. But it gives you a ton of attack speed and damage. Oops. So that's, what, 30% speed increase? And 40% more damage. For half, not half your health, quite a bit of your health. Interesting trade. Um, might go for it eventually. I prefer this because it gives me plus 7 health. That's definitely saved me here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else we can get here. Out. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. These guys are going to pelt me to, till I die, so... If I see any more diamonds, I'll grab them, but... Yep, doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going. Looks like we're going home, boys. That's this episode. We're going home! Actually, before I go home, I'm going to try to go through this section, a section I'm unfamiliar with, because it might have some loot like this. Which I'm curious about. I'm actually going to go ahead and plop down a backpack real quick, just to store up some of the things that I don't need. Yoink. That's actually quite good. We got, this is a decent haul. I'll be able to use this. Also, we're level 30 now, which is great. We got a fire aspect, three hoe, two instant damage potions, and a generic chest. This actually is a pretty high-level generic chest. We're getting lots from it. I don't know if there's anything else we should... No, we're good. Uh, let's go this way now. Just trying to see if there's anything else. Looks like there's a little bit of light, but we can go this way. I'm tempted to check out one of these houses. Sponges are interesting. I wonder what well, that hill is kind of interesting too. My guess is that there's going to be lots of fire mobs in here and we don't have fire resistance currently. But we could ransack like this level at the very least and see what we get. Yeah, like you see we just got some good loot right there. How about in here? Sharpness 4, fire spec 3, bad quality, it hurts. This is toilet paper. <laughs> Funny. This building's fairly small. We could probably check it out. See what else we can get in here. It's a lot of chests, actually. Yeah, look at that. Protection 4, interesting. Very small rooms. This feels so peaceful compared to that island. They're supposed to be decently equally leveled, I think. How is there no Man, yeah, this place is thin. Let's go down. See if we see anything down here. Okay. Let me actually whip out the backpack again. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just plop everything in here. Probably end up throwing out a lot of this stuff, but oh, this just as it leads to the surface, doesn't it? What's this? 
Okay, we're gonna leave that for now. I just want to explore this building and, and skedaddle. Because one building should be enough. Because I, I don't want to end the episode not having looked at very much. I want to at least explore a tiny bit more. And this is kind of neat. Bet there's something through this wall too. Yeah, check it out. What is this? It's interesting. All right, well, there was nothing important in those rooms. How about up here? Oh, we already checked this out. Let's go to the higher levels. It's just completely abandoned. Invisibility. Let's use it. Might as well. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. How about in here? No, nothing really. Projectile protection and some nice arrows. Okay, I'll take it. How about on the upper layers? Right up here. Five diamonds, wow. That's a good reward for just exploring a house. Nothing in the furnaces. I'm wondering, like, who in real life would keep furnaces in their house? It is kind of weird. There's a lot of stuff in here, by the way. I'm unsure what to take. Magma cream actually would be kind of nice. And let's use one of these. All right. Continue exploring. There's at least one more level up here. I'm really surprised at the amount of loot that's just in this one house. Like, there's a lot of interesting places you could go if you were speedrunning this. And as all of you know, I constantly think about speedrunning. Oh, sweet. There's a head right here. And this should be the top. Gotcha. So this is one of, the, I think it's one of, some just a friend's apartment. Art of craft, art of the crafting filters. The nerd station. It's a nice little Easter egg. I like it. More blocks. I kind of like the use of uh, bricks as building blocks on this map. It's definitely unique. They're not my favorite building block, but they're working their way up there. It just, it just take a little while to mine. Cart Nart. Cart, cart March, that's what it's called. Cart Mart. How much time do we have left of the episode? I mean, we could go check out Cart Mart here. I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm tempted to check out at least one more place. Because we do have the time. And, wow, we got a... Sorry. We've still got quite a bit of space in our inventory if we throw out junk. Like we don't need this. We don't need... We do need that. Um, we'll probably be able to still have space for whatever's in Cart Mart. And since we're already over here, we might as well. Oh, I completely forgot. I don't have Feather Falling. I do have extra health, though. <laughs> Which is nice. So cart mart. What do we have in here? Oh, we do have zombies. The thing with night vision is it kind of encourages you to find and destroy the spawners wherever they're at. Wow, we have a lot in here. It might be interesting to loot this. Oh, I'm, my uh, night vision's running out. Oh, now it's scary. Once my night vision runs out, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I see all the darkness and I'm scared. It's like we have this natural fear of the darkness. And it's kind of useful in Minecraft because that's where spawners can spawn. It is good. We'll gain some uh, experience from this. Oh, there's guys flooding in from above. Man, there's a lot of fellows here. Come here. 
Get out of here. Wow, I that was a hard hit. Oh, one of them had strength. That's why I got hit for so hard. They've all got strength in here. Where are they getting strength from? Alright, let's block this off a little bit. Why don't it just be me in here? Me and the baby zombies, I suppose. Still guys spawning, but that's okay. Doink. Doink. Slide it up. I don't want anything spawning. I want to grab the loot. I've conquered this area. Have a die. Okay, good. Looks like they're safe. Um, I'm curious. I'm a little bit curious about some of these. Go away. Oh, there's cracks in the ceiling. That probably won't help us. Okay. Let's check these out. Just see if there's anything useful. I'll, I'll take the arrows, I guess. Those are nice. Music disc. One of these things. I hear these zombies and I'm like, they're coming for me, aren't they? I look around, they're not there. I'm wondering, I'm really on edge right now, actually. Uh, maybe I should just, oh. Let's just see if there's anything special. Like if there's anything special here, we'll grab it. I don't think there's anything too special though. Let's see. Oh wow, there's a ton of instant damage arrows here. Oh wow, a bunch of iron. Some coal. Diamond. There's actually some really interesting stuff here. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if we can fit anything in our backpack. Or toss anything in our backpack for that matter. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it looks like our backpack's pretty much full at this point. Really don't need dirt though. Go ahead and put iron in there. We'll just leave the backpack there for now. That way we can grab some more loot. Uh, magma cream, bread, a lone emerald. Wasn't there a diamond? Yeah, there was a diamond in this chest. So go ahead and put you away. All right, I'll take some torches. Oh, we got more music discs. Got a bunch of stuff up here. Look around the corner, nothing here. There's a few minecarts here. This guy's got strength, we don't really need it. This is actually useful for us because we can go ahead and equip that right now. And that's just one arrow, so I don't mind losing it. Oh yeah, it was a good exchange. Six buckets of milk. That's good. What can I trade for that? We don't really need the melons. Let's grab that milk. What did I, didn't I put something in here? Oh, I put some coal in there. Yeah, coal's good. Coal's good for us. Um, I'm wondering about these things. We can check them out here real quick. I just want to double check that we got everything that I want. I think we're good. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other chests around here. It's quite crammed. I, I am getting a little bit claustrophobic in here. Oh, there's a spawner under here. So hard for me to see spawners now. I don't know why. I used to be so good at spotting spawners. I'd be like, oh yeah, that's definitely a spawner from a mile away. Now I'm thinking, a spawner? What? I didn't even notice. We really don't need the iron pick. Oh, this guy would have killed me if he had strength. He didn't get it yet, though. Uh, this guy is instant health, too. Instant health, too. Yeah, we really don't need instant health, too. Nothing. 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 Okay. Let's get going. I'm gonna go ahead and walk home. I guess we can. Sh I can show this on camera, because we're going to be exploring new territory on our way home. Uh, which way is home? So many interesting things here we're going to have to skip over. Because we just don't have the inventory space at this point in time. 
We should be able to make it through the uh, the hazardous wasteland. We can just use some regen potions if we need to. Also, there should be med stations around here. Just don't take any damage, please. Yeah, we're... That's actually a very small zone where you get poisoned. It's nice. Alright, let's get home. It's right over here. I'd say this was a fairly successful venture. We got a lot of really great items. I'm going to be very geared up for next episode, whenever that's going to be. I think this might be the last episode I record before I leave. I can't remember the date I'm meeting my grandparents. It's either tomorrow or the day after, so... If it's tomorrow, this is the last one. Because I don't see myself recording anything else anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, we don't have a wool to place this episode, so that's about it. Thank you all very much for joining me on this adventure. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was way harder than I expected, but our pincushion self-survived. So I'll do some work off camera to get everything organized. Till next time, don't forget to contribute, and as always, make the most of your day.